going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Now, I'd like to welcome everybody here to Summertown for the second set up here in between Loretta and Summertown. Keegan McCafferty will be on the mound for Summertown tonight. Starting off, leadoff hitter stepping in for Loretta is Tidwell. He'll be pitching for Loretta tonight. Takes call to strike one in the outside corner. Keegan's going to work pretty quick here as he has about all year. I'm set and delivers. We called strike two here on Tibble. Ain't seeing many changes in Little Redder's lineup from last night. Springer will be on deck. He hit the big home run last night. He can cause that breaking pitch. Left it up just a little bit. One ball, two strikes. Ball is going to be grounded over towards second base. Jackson Bennett comes, makes the play, throws over to first, be the first out of the inning. That's kind of what we need out of Keegan tonight. Going to run through Summertown's lineup. Grayson Burleson leading off at first base. Casey Blackwood in center field. Kane Kennix at third. Zach Staggs, of course, behind the plate. Aiden Perez will be in left field. Jackson Bennett will be at second base. First pitch strike there. Ryder Blackwood hit it in the seven hole, playing shortstop. Keegan McCafferty hit it in the eight hole and pitching. Pitch is going to be grounded to first base. Grayson Burleson makes the play, steps on the bag, be the second out of the inning. So two up, two down here for Summertown. Got Matthew Luffman, DHing for Cecil Williams, which is playing right field. Seymour's going to step in. Crafty throws him a breaking pitch up for ball one. Pitch is going to be hit slow to third base. Kane Kennett comes in, makes the play, throws over the first. Yeah, that's right. yeah, a swinging bunt. That's a tough play right there. He don't get the out. Ball was hit right off the end of the bat, right down the third baseline. Does get us a runner on here for Daniel, playing first base tonight after he pitched an excellent game last night for sure. Good breaking pitch, called strike.
with another breaking pitch. Going to be fouled off. For strike two, goes down to 0-2. Daniel will have a runner at first. Two strikes, no balls, two outs. As Keegan comes set here, delivers. Be a fast ball, it's going to be fouled back. Keegan picks over to first. He's back easy. We've got us a courtesy runner over there. So I don't have their line up here tonight. They just give me last names and they didn't give me the whole list, so I don't really have the runner's gone. Pitch is gonna be down. Throw down the second, he's out. Oh. Yeah, he's called safe. May have got an under. Well, I don't know. From here, it looked like it was going to be really close. He may have got an under the tag. Thrown it lower, he would have been. Yeah, Ryder did have to go up. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, I think he's there. His right call. So, runner does move up. So, no balls, two strikes. Daniel's going to call time in the box. It's actually one ball, two strikes. Going to be called strike three. Pitch was down a little bit. Keegan gets us out of that one. So we'll kind of run through theirs here. They're going to have, of course, Mason Tibble led off. He's uh, pitching for them tonight. Springer, Cason Springer, uh, hitting the two hole, playing right field. Seymour's back behind the plate for him tonight. Daniel will be playing first base in the four hole. Miles Moore will be playing left field, hitting in the five hole. Tragler will be playing center field. Hitting in the six hole, they've got Aaron DHing for Aaron's in the seven hole, but he will be DHing for Lucas Laxon, which will be playing second base. Ellis will be playing third base for him tonight, and Fisher will be at shortstop with you, Tidwell on the mound. If you recall, when Huckabee came in last night, they um, made a couple of uh, pinch hit substitutions. Yes. It seems like the, those two that came in are still in the lineup today. They are? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. them kids, and I actually seen them, you know, they played down there Friday night, Will, uh, after us, you know, when they, uh, the Ellis kid actually caught for them. Uh, yep, yep. He's got a pretty good bat, swings it pretty good. So, um, you listening at home, if you hear these loud birds in the background, our um, really modern press box here has several um, – baby birds um, that have hatched and uh, anytime their mama comes to the nest they go nuts and uh, we don't have any way to get to these birds they're kind of trapped uh, in the walls here so yeah they're kind of and under the soffit on the outside they? so you don't have this, these kind of problems at, at other places i don't guess but uh <laughs> so just if you hear these birds going crazy behind us that's that's what it is like they're ready to throw it down. We'll just keep it here, Wills. Grayson right. Burleson will be leading off for us. It's yeah, I think call. Fisher has been moving over and playing shortstop when Tibble's pitching. So it kind of leaves that third deal open. It's Joe Especially Cal after Daniel. Joe pitched. Calton, your your helper, is a Joe Joe the No Show today. Joe Joe that. the No Show. I yeah. remember that. He <laughs> said he would be here right at game time, and we actually started early. So, is it game time yet? It's 7.01, so uh, he's, he's, he's late. late. Yeah, he's late. So, Grayson Burris is going to step in, get his first pitch from Tibble. Takes that one down, ball one. Outfield's playing. I mean, they're expecting him to hit the ball. They've got a big shift on him. Ball's going to be down again. I just realized we could see ourselves really easy in the video. <laughs> so I said, I'm going to turn the lights off. You had the light on. Yeah. 2 0 pitch. Delivered. That ball's in yeah. the dirt again. Grayson swings at it. Helped for strike him out. one. Yeah, he helped him there on that one. Pitch is delivered. Mason's going to hit a ground ball over to Fisher at All shortstop. Right, Fields. That was over to first. First out of the inning. Mason 
Somebody brought their clown horn tonight. There's JoJo, the no show. <laughs> Been waiting on you, Joe. Look, we got some nice chairs in here, bro. Everybody but Joe does. Everybody but Joe. Joe got a padded seat, though. It's because he got here late. <laughs> Come on, Case and Blackwood's going to step in. One out. Nobody on. There's Joe. Can't believe y'all let him start without me. Well, he tried to hold him up, Joe, but he's in a hurry. Oh, well, understandable. Pitch is delivered here to Blackwood. He's going to hit a line drive over the second baseman's head for a base hit. Did you see that ball yeah. deflect out there? One thing about playing at Summertown, guys, you got to be careful in the outfield. We'll bring up Kane Kinnick with one out, Casey Blackwood at first. Got some good wheels on. And Loretta will see more behind the plate. He's got a pretty good arm back here, so. Tibble don't have a bad pickoff move either, so he delivers to the plate. That pitch, breaking pitch away that Kane swings through. I mean, he's in the dirt. And I mean, he he just misread that pitch. Goes down, one no balls, one strike, one out. Casey Blackwood at first base. He is gone. Oh, no. No, I thought he was gone. I did too. He may have read Seymour right there. Uh, that was a pitch out. And Seymour scooted way out on it. So, Casey may have seen that and thought, well, pick over the first. Back easy. Summertown softball has already won their district matchup tonight. They're finished over across the street. They beat Lewis County, I believe, six to nothing. It might have been more. Pitch is delivered. The last I seen, it was six to nothing. Will. Yeah. Pitch is gonna be down away in the dirt. Make it two one. Very well, could be three one. I mean, he ain't come nowhere close to him yet. Casey's got a pretty good lead over at first. He is gone. Kane's going to hit a run. bullet. Oh. Casey, I mean, he's seen it coming. That's a double and play. And they turned the double play on it. Casey's that's a dead ball. That's not a double play. As soon as it hit him, that's a dead ball. Yeah. Is it not? Yes. No, it's not, neither. Matt's going to come out and talk about it. Yeah, that is a dead ball. I'm still surprised that Kaysen didn't see that. I thought he was looking right at it. And I thought, man, what a perfect hit and run that turned out to be. So the other oh, yeah, it would have been perfect, too. I mean, that ball was hit where it needed to be hit. And I thought Kaysen was looking at it. Yeah. I mean, he was looking this way. So that's two nights in a row Kaysen struggled a little bit on the base pass. Yes. <clears throat> Got two outs. Kane Kinnick at first. Zach Stagg's going to step in here, hitting in the four hole tonight. Take ball one, down. 7-0 final for softball, Adam Lindsay says. He came out of retirement to call that tonight. I listened to a little bit of that tonight and heard Adam over there doing a good job. Yeah, he's still got him. They do back pick down the first base on Kinnick. He gets back safe. Zach's going to file that one off. Zach and Perez swap places in the lineup. In the lineup, they have. Time. You got one ball, two strikes. Is that what you yes, got? that's yeah. what I got. We one ball, two strikes, two outs. Kane Kinnick at first base. Ball is – oh, easy, Zach. He kind of checked swung that and – Bounced out in front of the plate, and it did end up foul, so. I don't know if it hit off of him. I couldn't nah, tell. It went, it went straight down there. It never touched him. Yeah. Ball's going to be up. No pitch clock tonight.
Zach swings through that one for strike three. So, so we're going to swap it up. We are. We'll take a little break. This is baseball on X Sports Network. All right, we're back as Miles Morris is going to step in for uh, Loretta. First pitch here is delivered, fouled back into the net. Pitch is going to be fouled off down against the building, down the first baseline, out towards the concession stand. Make the count. No balls, two strikes. That's the way Keegan started about every at bat here. Pitch is going to be in. Ball one, not a bad place. No, that's a tough take. Yeah, right that's, there. Well, that's a tough take. It was a ball. I'm going to say it was Especially, in there, Luke. I mean, you take the umpires we had the last ball, time. That ball's, yes, that ball was fisted down the third base. Kane Kinnick makes that play. You know what the umpire we had behind the plate last night, that was a strike. Yes, at the end of the game. Yes. But, it, I mean, like, I, like we said earlier last night, it was both ways. It was. But we'll bring a, up the center fielder. As a hitter, that you know, going from that last night to this tonight, it's got to be. Yeah, it's got to be tough. You, you know, you got to make adjustments. Bring up a center fielder, Tragula. First pitch was a ball. Keegan comes set here, delivers. Swings through that one for strike one. Zach's going to throw that in the center field. Well, not quite. Jackson, Jackson got over there for yeah. got the center. Jackson nice Bennett made a nice back end out there on it. Always love it when they make a bad throw. You ever, they look at their hand like, what? You yeah. Know, what are you doing? Well, you know. Or if it goes off the tip of your glove. Ball is going to be grinded to second base. Jackson Bennett makes the play, throws over to first. You know, if it goes off the tip of their glove, yeah, they, they look, look at their glove like look, it's got yeah. a hole in it. Like or it's something. got a hole in it, yeah. Make a bad throw, they're always looking at their hand. I'm like, look, it's connected to your brain, fellas. You know, it's it's one unit. We'll bring up number seven, Jaden Aaron. His first at bat of the game with two outs. Call that ball high. Well, I'll give it a little high. The one ball, no strikes, two outs, nobody on. Aiden swings through that pitch. Yeah, Will's trying to get some replays in here, and that ain't going to happen. Keegan's not going to give you time for replays. Comes back with it again, leaves it up. Two balls, one strike. Two outs. Carefully okay, comes set here, delivers. Pitch is swung through. That's a fastball out on the outside corner. Even set everything up, 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes, two outs. Carefully okay, comes set. Delivers. We have a breaking pitch in there. Swung through for strike three. 
Keegan will have another really good inning. He goes out. So, so they're swapping up. We'll take a little break. Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds. Let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you. Because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi-use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CMB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high-quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CMB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNB Linen. All right, we're back. The five hole hitter, Aiden Perez, stepping up. He's wearing number 12 in the white jersey. He changed his number, didn't he? I noticed that the other night. They must not have had his size and his number for the white jersey. Tibble will come set, delivers. Pitch is going to be up for ball one. Pitch is delivered. Ball out, ball two. Was it two balls, no strikes? Ball's going to be up for ball three. It was just an under the letters. He's not giving that up pitch tonight for sure. He called strike one. Makes it three balls, one strike. It was working very quick tonight. He is. Ball's going to be fouled back. Go three, two. It will come set here, delivers. Ball's going to be hit into center field. Center fielder comes over, does get by him. It's going to the wall. Perez is probably going three on this. Yeah. No. Coach Burleson, Coach Burleson holds, hold him him, holds him up right there with a double, leadoff double. Good piece of hitting there by Perez. That was. He just went down and got that, that all-speed pitch. Brings up Jackson Bennett. Burson runs through all these signs down there. Ellis over at third, running through some signs, letting everybody know where the infield is going to be for Loretta. Bennett's going to step in. Squares to bunt, pulls it back. So a called strike on the outside corner. It's an all-speed pitch. That thing was going to be tough to bunt. Yeah. So let's give him one strike. Swings through that one for strike two. Goes down 0-2. No outs. Perez at second. Ball's going to be fisted. Shortstop goes back, makes the play. Thought he might have got just enough of that one. Will give us one out. Runner at second for Ryder Blackwood. Keegan McCaffrey will be on deck. You must can hear them pretty good. Why? Smart pig just 
said he loved the eagle nest sound effects. Oh, did he? He sent me. He sent he us must, all the text. Must be hearing the birds pretty well. You can't scare them away because they're babies. Will be uh, called strike one. Ryder squared the bunt. Breaking pitch run in on him. He pulled back. Wheels up beating on the wall trying to get the birds to be quiet. You might just make them worse. Ryder squares the bunt again. I said he went. Yeah, he did. I couldn't tell from... Where I'm so there's a breaking pitch. He squared the bunt. There's a breaking pitch, and it just kind of broke around his bat. He did stay out there. So no balls, two strikes, one out. Pitch is going to be up and away. Not a bad location. Now I'll try to get him to chase something right there. One ball, two strikes. Perez still at second base. Pitch is going to be in on Ryder. Make a count 2-2. Two, two. It's fouled back here. Did you run from out and wheel? Too worried about the birds. Too worried about the birds. We're just going to have to listen to them tweet. Like it's kind of soothing. That may put me to sleep. I'll start yawning in a minute. <laughs> You'll get in trouble. I know. Yeah. Two balls, two strikes, one out. AJ told me the other night I could yawn on air. Just don't go to sleep. Will will put you on the porch. Ball's going to be up and in. Bring the count full. Make it 3 2 on Ryder. Still have the one out. Perez still hanging out out there around second base. Pitch is delivered. It's going to be up and away. It's going to get away from Seymour behind the plate. So that will move Perez up to third. Bring up Keegan McCafferty that just threw a laser bat toss over to Matthew Luffman on deck. Did y'all see that? I did not miss that. Lord have mercy. That's harder than his fastball out there a while ago. <laughs> Wish we had that on video. So we got a pretty good crowd here. Got runners first and third with one out. Hugh McCafferty's going to hit a tapper back to the pitcher. He turns, throws over to first. To second out any. Good job by Tibble, Mason Tibble right there. To, he fielded that and just stopped and held Perez. He knew he had plenty of time. Turned and just throw the bullet over to first base. Get the second out, any? That does move Ryder up to second. Yes. Brings up Matthew Luffman. Hitting in a nine hole for us today. He's DHing for Cecil Williams. We called strike. Of course, you know, we've been consistent out there, guys. Yep. <clears throat> Got to make those adjustments. Ball's going to be grinding towards the shortstop. Fielded clean. Fisher throws over to first. Third out inning. Summertown gets another leadoff double here and can't get nobody in. Mr. Hal Curtis out here trying to get his camera time here on our one camera. Well, they're swapping up. We'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Truitt's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truitt's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truitt's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family owned and operated business, Truitt's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truitt's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. Southern Craft Manufacturing is dedicated to creating the finest quality and greatest value products in the death care industry. 
Southern Craft has perfected blending old world craftsmanship with modern manufacturing technologies to create a full line of steel, wood, and choreographed caskets. Family owned and operated for over 30 years, Southern Craft is now looking to hire local and regional truck drivers, welders, and production workers, each with great starting pay and a benefits package. For more information, visit southerncraftmfg.com. Yeah, As the great. coach is trying to get in position, Keegan's done told the river, standing there ready to go. Waiting on the umpire. Going to be Ellis, the third baseman for Lower Rudder Mustangs tonight, stepping in, get the first his first pitch. Be away for ball one. Keegan delivers. That breaking pitch for a strike. Will just went out and tried to get the SRO. You see him standing on the porch just to fire his weapon up in that hole, see if he could quieten the birds down. Pitch swung through. Strike two. Get Peter after you. One ball, two strikes. I'll show him the message you sent me today. <laughs> Ball's going to be fouled off on the first baseline out of play. Make the count. One ball, two strikes. It's going to be grounded over third base. Kane Kinnick Fields throws over to first. First out of the end. Bring up number one, Grant Fisher. So brings Kane in on the edge of the grass with Fisher coming up. Breaking pitch. High. Ball one. Fisher's going to hit that ball into center field. Cason Blackwood danced around for there for a minute. That's the hardest ball to play, guys. I don't know how much outfield you ever played, but a ball hit straight at you in a line drive about 10 or 12 foot high is the hardest ball to judge of how deep it is. So, I don't think Cason ever had to move, but he did dance around he a little did. bit. Gonna bring up Mason Tibble, the pitcher today, lead off. We called strike one. That breaking pitch. <laughs> Mason nodded his head. He he agreed. Yeah. That yeah. You, it's just hard to pull the trigger on. Keegan comes back with the fastball, line drive into left field. Perez comes in, makes a diving play, comes up with it. I didn't know whether he caught it or not. I didn't I, either. I to, couldn't tell. And I don't know that the umpire knew whether he caught it or not, but uh, Coach Weathers. He just turned around and walked off. So. Yeah, he catched. Yeah, it's it's right there. But Coach Weather just turned around and walked off. So, I mean, he he knew that ball was caught. That's a good play there by good Perez. Job. Perez having a good game here tonight. So, uh, so going into the bottom of the third, still scoreless right here. Uh, Summertown will be coming back with the top of their lineup. Should be Grayson, Kaysen, Kane. Yep. So we'll take a little break. Summertown Baseball on Exports Network.
All right, we're back. Grayson Bartison's going to step in, get his second chance here at Tibble tonight in the bottom of the third inning. Telling you guys, they're giving us no respect down the left field line. Uh, the left fielder, Grayson's going to hammer that ball into center field. It's going to be played out there. So center fielder catches it. Yeah, the left fielder's playing like a left center. center. Yeah, they're almost playing like Rover. They're leaving the left fielder out. So, I just don't think we're going to get in front of Tibble. Yeah, I mean, you can get anything through the 5-6 hole right there. Oh, yeah. You're going to get some extra bases for sure. Jason Blackwood steps in, swings through the fouls, the first pitch back, for strike one. Tibble turns this one loose. Ooh. One over Kaysen's head there. Like how umpire does that. Y'all notice him doing it? Just hold his hand back. Yeah. Yeah. Kaysen squares the bunt. That was a beautiful breaking pitch right there. That's, that's, yeah, that's a good pitch by Tibble. It will come set here, delivers. There it is again for strike three. Bring up Kane Kinnick. Kane Kinnick steps in with two outs. Ball's going to be down. The outfield kind of shifts back over. Yeah, they kind of get a little straight. bit. Yeah, they turn back around a little bit on this one. Ball's going to be drove into the left field for a base hit. Good piece of hitting right there. Another all speed pitch. He had to go down and get. Going to bring up Zach Staggs hitting in the four hole here tonight for Summertown with two outs. Zach swings through that one. Strike one. Lawrence County is like 10 nothing again on Marshall. Lawrence County score update in the bottom of the fifth, up 10 to nothing on Marshall. Zach Stagg swings through that one for strike two. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner at first base. One on a miss for strike three. Zach swings through that one for strike three. Get us out of the inning. This Lord of the Mustangs out of the inning. As they're swapping up, we'll take a little break. Maybe Will can throw us some commercials up. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three.
All right, we're back. Keegan McCarthy going to tow the rubber again here in the fourth inning. Case and Springer leading things off for Loretta. Hitting in the two hole, playing right field tonight. Yeah, there's that breaking pitch. I mean, it just kind of freezes you up. Kaysen sure hit a rocket out of right he field did. last night. That ball was hit well. Keegan delivers here. Breaking pitch again. Yeah. Got him to foul it off. Goes down 0-2. Pitch is going to be out and away. Keegan McCarthy tries to make the play. That, I mean, that's a tough play for your pitcher to yeah, try to it make. Yeah, it is. Right that was there. a swinging bunt. It just barely got back to the pitcher's mound. Keegan had to come off and get it. Good job by Grayson to knock yeah, it down and keep it over I mean, with him. I don't know. Your third baseman in Kane was coming. Yeah, Grayson had to go up and get that and then just kind of slap it down keep it there at the back. But be the first leadoff runner on here in the – Top of the fourth. Nobody out. It's going to be delivered up and in. Brings up Clint Seymour. Hind catcher. The Mustangs today. Perks pitch is called strike. Was it a strike? Uh, they got a strike on the board. It's going to be a breaking pitch there for another strike. Try to keep an eye on the umpire. I don't think he called the first one. I don't think he yeah. did. No, no, no. He's calling it one and one. They got two on the board, but it is one and one. Umpire just corrected them. So it's one ball, one strike, runner at first. Runner's gone. Was a pitch out. And Zach throws it into center field. Runner's getting up and going to third. Casey Blackwood's going to throw. He's out. Oh. I don't know that Kane just couldn't get back to him or. Kane had to come off the bag. Yeah, I don't know. They you know, dive back dive into over. him. But I thought, yeah, he never checked up either. He was. No, good heads up base running there, bud. Yeah, I don't think Kane ever got back over. I think he's, I think it was a good call. So now we have no outs with a runner staring at third base. Should be two balls, one strike. Batter calls time. Gonna be delivered in the dirt. Zach does a good job just keeping it there. Make the count three one. Zach ain't even ready, and Keegan's already. Yeah, Keegan's done the over, ready to go. He's there. Just tell me what you want to throw. Three balls, one strike, nobody out. Pitch is delivered. Gonna be up for ball four. Bring up the first baseman. Daniel. Pretty dangerous stick right here. Got runners first and third, no outs. Daniel pitched a really well game last night for he did. Loretta. Ball's going to be fouled off down the first baseline. Fires hollering, he needs some baseballs. Keegan's going to pick over the first base. He gets back safe. No balls, one strike. Keegan delivers home. Going to be a pitch out. Zach's going to throw him out. Oh. We don't make the tag. Nobody goes. I don't know what Ryder was thinking there. That was a, I mean, that, he was out by five steps. Ball's going to be popped up. Cecil Williams has got a bead on it. He'll be coming home with that. Runner's going to score. Sack fly there. Good job. Runner standing at third. Go and get that run in. Take that out. Get a run. 
Especially the way these games has been going. Yep. There's our bozo horn out there again. So what that is? Like a, I don't know. Is that what I it guess. sounds like? Like your clown bozo horn or what do you have? Bring up Miles Moore. Pitch is going to be away in the dirt. Got a runner at third, one out. Keegan had to get a little athletic, catch that and coming back from Zach. Miles going to hammer that ball into your right field. I believe he got it. He does. Miles Moore hits a two-run bomb, bomb over right field fence. Make the score three to nothing. Low run of Mustangs. McCaffrey down on the rubber, ready to throw another one here with one out. Pitch is delivered. It's going to be fouled back into the net right here in front of us. With the center fielder, Tragula, stepping in. Had a good cut on that first one. Yeah, he did. Just missed it. Pitch is going to be hammered into the gap. Right center field. Tragula will be going for two. Next minute goes out and gets the cut. It's going to be a stand-up double. Looks like Coach Bartison is going to come out and have a little word with uh, the infield and his pitcher. We'll take a little break with him. Just summertime baseball on Exports Network. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. All right, we're back. Runner at second, one out. Brings up Jaden Aaron for Loretta. It'll be a breaking pitch inside for a ball. He can just needs to settle down right here. Jaden swings through that one for strike one. He can come set here with a runner at second, delivers. Pitch is going to be fouled off down the first baseline. Out of play, I think. We'll be striking two. Keegan needs to look around, make sure Cecil Williams is going to get back to his positions because Keegan's done towed the rubber. One ball, two strikes, runner at second, one out. Got a runner going to third. I don't know, that's – Zach's got to throw that ball right there. He slid out on it. The runner goes to third, but the batter walks out in front of him and Zach don't throw it. If he goes ahead and throws that ball right there, if it's – you know, he, he can't get out of the batter's box and walk in front of him, so it would have been interference. Yeah, that's what the dugout told him. It but, sounded like you got to yeah. throw that. Yeah. Pitch is going to be called strike one on Ellis, playing third base for the Mustangs tonight. Breaking pitch in there for strike two. Goes down 0-2. Keegan comes set here, delivers the 0-2 pitch. Ball's going to be hit in the center field. Casey Blackwood's got a beat on it. Going to be the third out of the inning. Going into the bottom of the fourth inning, Summertown needs to see if they can't rattle some bats and put some runs on the board here. We'll take a little break as they're swapping up. Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. 
Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring and More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com. Well, we're back. Aiden Perez is going to step in, get his third attempt today here in the 5-0. He's going to hit that ball in the center field, lift it a little much. Center fielder's going back, going back. Does make the play back there on the warning track. We'll be the first out of the inning. We're going to get on Mason and him. I got Mason Williams and some of them boys sitting out there on the truck. They could have started hollering wall, wall, wall or something. Help us out a little bit out there, guys. <laughs> The first out of the innings, Jackson Bennett's going to step in. Ball's going to be hit. It's a big league pop up. First baseman's coming in. Daniel says he's got it. Oh, he drops it. That's going to be a base hit. Uh, it's like it just got behind him, but. Bring up Ryder Blackwood. With one out and a runner at first. Ryder's going to foul that one off down third baseline. Out of play. Over towards the session stand. The way we're getting a hot dog, might get them a baseball knot. Ryder's going to tap that one back in front of the mound. Comes out, fields, throws over to first, going to throw it away. Ryder's going to move to second. Jackson Bennett's going to come all the way to third. It's another one of them, the pitcher. I mean, you, you got to throw that baseball. Yep. I mean, it, it's hard to do. Umpire throw. asked for baseballs, and Cecil brought him a five-gallon <laughs> bucket full up here. He had three in his hands and several in his gloves. Yeah. <laughs> He's got plenty of balls now. So with one out, a couple of errors on low rudder Mustangs here. So Summertown's got runners standing at second and third. We'll bring up Keegan McCafferty. Keegan takes that pitch up for ball one. Here, Mr. McCafferty down there telling him, do your job. It's going to be down the way. Base hit here with Ryder's wheels out there. If you can hit something on the right side, you may get two here. You, help yourself you right very here. Very well McCaffrey. could. Help yourself out, McCafferty. Yeah. Yeah. We have fastball on the outside corner for strike one. Looks at two balls, one strike. Ball's going to be fouled back. They even everything up. Two, two. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Right, Runners at second and third. Tubal has slowed down a little bit here. Getting his signs. Come set here. 
Delivers. Pitch is going to be up and in. Bring the count to full. Three balls, two strikes. Matthew Luffman standing on deck for summertime. Dibble comes set here, delivers. Pitch is up. Good take. Yeah. He wanted it, but. I thought he was going to swing at it the way he loaded up. That pitch was up and in. He does take. I think if it would have just been up, I think he swings at it. Yeah, it being in, he held off on it. Coach Weathers is going to come out and have a little conversation with Tibble. They will we'll, get Mason Neal to run for Keegan there. We'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection All right, we're back. Coach Weathers went out and had a little conversation with Tibble. He's got bases loaded, one out. Matthew Luffman's going to step in. Grayson Burleson on deck. First pitch. Matthew's going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop. Field it. Throws over to second. One out. Two outs. They roll the double play. So they get out of the inning. Mustangs get out of that one without giving up anything. So... Summertown going into the top of the fifth inning. Summertown trails three to nothing. We'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931 201 since 1986, Southeast so Carriers, Inc. Help has been a family-owned and operated business in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We strive to have updated equipment and technology to make our driver's job easier. We offer large company pay and benefits with a small company atmosphere. Are you tired of just being a number when you call your current company? Here you will be known on a first-name basis, and all we ask is for you to give us an opportunity to prove that we are different than most trucking companies. For more information, visit Southeast Carriers. All right, back here to Summertown, going into the top of the fifth inning. Summertown trails three to nothing to the Loretta Mustangs. Will be Grant Fisher <clears throat> leading off for Loretta. Fisher hitting in the nine hole, so it'll be Fisher, Tidwell, Springer. They'll get back to the top here after Fisher. Steps in, McCafferty toes the rubber. Pitch is going to be down and away for ball one. Zach's having a hard time keeping up with his earpiece. He forgot it. Pitch is delivered. Going to be a shot in a 5-6 hole for Fisher for a base hit. Bring up Tibble. I don't want to speak too soon, but our birds are going to sleep. Not too soon, Will. Will says our birds have went to sleep for the night. They must have got their bellies full. Tibble's going to step in. Even McCarthy comes set here and delivers. Ball one in the dirt. Ball's ripped right over the third baseman, Kane Kenny's glove to the wall. He's going to three. 
Throws there. It's going to be late. Not much you could do with that. That, no. ball, that ball was hit well by Tidwell. Well, no outs. Tidwell yeah. hits a double. Moves Fisher to third. Ball is a rocket. Like I said, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Number 19 is going to come in and run for Tibble as the pitcher, but I don't have their numbers and stuff tonight, so I can't tell you who that is. Springer's going to step in. Looked like he was trying to hit one in the tennis courts with that swing. Goes down 0-1. Going to be away at breaking pitch. Stayed out just a little. Ball one. Pitch is going to be hammered into center field. It's going to most definitely down. score one. It'll score two. two. Makes the score five to nothing. Loretta. Coach Bartleson's going to come out of the dugout here. Don't know if he's going to make a pitching change. Do have somebody in the bullpen warming. We'll take a little break. We'll let you know what happens when we get back. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Inc. Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Inc. give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Inc. for the look you want and the look you deserve. Here at Heritage Automotive, experience the difference. With our great sales department, service department, and parts department. Now offering up to $10,000 off on all Chevy and GMC model 1500s. And we have over 30 lenders with some of the best rates in the market. Hi, it's Tad with Heritage Automotive. We want you to know when it comes to your vehicles, you deserve help, not hassle. With our 30 plus years of experience of being your local dealership, we're here to serve you. So whether it's routine maintenance, mechanical repairs, collision repairs, we're here to help. So give us a call today to schedule your service. Heritage Automotive. Expect more, experience the difference. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on fuel for work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. At Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, we're proud to be locally owned and operated because we're not just a bank, we're family. When you call, you'll be greeted by a friendly representative who's ready to discuss your banking needs, as well as offer our competitive rates on CDs and money market accounts. Our loan decisions are made in-house and never sold to a secondary market because our commitment is simple. You matter to us. At Lawrenceburg Federal, we offer all the conveniences of larger banks with a personal touch. It's going to be Braden Keaton coming in. The runner at first. Be Daniel stepping in. Must be a pitch out. The ball one. Keaton comes set here. There was going to be down and in for ball two. Pitch is going to be grinded to shortstop. Double play ball. Ryder Blackwood takes it himself. Rolls it up. Just two outs there. 
Go from no outs to two outs pretty quickly. Quickly? How did I say that? Quickly. I don't I know. I put a D in it. Yeah, it was. Quickly. Quick, <laughs> quick, quickly. That'll bring up Carter Daniel. The big pucks. First pitch is going to hit Daniel. Bring up Miles Moore, who's last at bat. Hit one well into right field for was a home a run. Two run home run, was it not? Three. Three run home run. It's two on. Runner standing at second and third. I thought they had scored on a hit. <clears throat> Maybe not. Or now it's five to nothing. Lower runner Mustangs. Ball's going to be grounded second base. Jackson Bennett comes in. Fields throws over to first. The third out of the inning. Braden Keaton comes in, does his job, gets us out of the inning. So, see if Summertown can't put some on the board right here. We'll take a little break. Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. You know, Story Lee Furniture is not just some huge chain store, but we do have a 144,000 square foot showroom right here in Leoma, Tennessee. The Story family has worked together in the business for over 50 years now, and a familiar face is here to help you with whatever you need. That's what being a part of the community right here in the Tennessee Valley means. And if you have an issue, we're right here to take care of it. And don't forget free delivery. We invite you to come see us. We're Story Lee Furniture. I'm Mike Keith, and my friends at Elliott Johnson Insurance have a great partner in Auto Owners Insurance. Auto Owners makes it easy to get life, home, car, or business insurance. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. No, we're back. Tibble stays on the mound for Loretta. Don't see no defensive changes for them. Grayson Burson is going to come in, get his third attempt here against Tibble. First pitch, breaking pitch in the dirt for a ball. Jason Blackwood will be on deck. Ball's going to be down in the way for ball two. Fast ball up and in for ball three. Goes 3-0 against him. It will deliver. Fast ball. Grayson, his ball was up and away just a little bit. He swings at it, fouls it back. Makes it 3-1. It will deliver that one. Up for a strike. Grayson Bartleson swings through it. Bring the brings count it, full. Brings it back full. <clears throat> delivers here. Grayson takes that one. That was about in the same spot as that last one he swung it. For ball four. Bring up Case and Blackwood. Third baseman's going to come up into the grass. <clears throat> Jason steps up with no outs. Pitches up. Ball one. Grayson Bartison is gone. Throw down is high. Grayson does get to second. They caught a strike. Yeah. Well, it's not a strike. I, I think he just held up one and one. Umpire did. They have one ball, one strike on the board. It will come set here, delivers. Grayson's going to drive that ball into right field, right at the right fielder. He makes the play. Grayson's going to tag. Throw is coming. And Grayson's in there, but it. It was mm. close. You got to get down right there. Yeah. We'll be one out. Bring up Kane Kinnick with a runner at third.
one out. Tib will come say it here. Good breaking, breaking pitch. pitch. Throws him up. That's a good pitch. Tib will come say it here. Delivers another one. Going to be a fastball down. Kane's going to foul it off. Go down 0-2 in the count. To reset here and having it back. Got one out. Just do a job and get a run in. It will come set here. Kane's going to hit that ball into center field. It should be deep enough to get Grayson in. Grayson's gone. He is coming. Going to be a sack fly by Kane. Out in the center field to score the first run for Summertown. After Grayson's stolen base and Grayson Blackwood's fly out to right field, move Grayson up. Cut the lead to four. Bring up Zach Staggs here with two outs. Zach swings through that one for strike one. Going to foul that one off. Goes down 0-2. Well, no balls, two strikes, two outs. Pitch is up. Make the count one ball, two strikes. Pitch is delivered here to Zach. Curveball down and in. I think it stayed in a little much. Wasn't a bad pitch there. Good spot by Tibble. I think that one could have went either way. But home plate umpire hadn't given that inside all night. Pitch is going to be fouled back over our heads. I hope. Yeah. I gritted my teeth thinking it's going to hit the roof. Wake the birds up. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Zach Stag standing in the box. Tibble delivers. Hit Zach. I'm on elbow guard, and he's going to jog down to first base. Going to bring up Aiden Perez. Had a hot bat tonight. Table delivers. Ball is going to be grounded down the first baseline. No balls, one strike, two outs. Runner at first. White right, been aggressive when you're swinging a hot bat like that. Perez stepped in his first pitch. He said, I'm going to see if I can't get me one. So Yeah, might as well. It'll be a curveball down. Zach is going to move up on that. Kind of got away from Seymour. That ball was in the dirt. Kind of gotten under him just a little bit. Here in the bottom of the fifth, Summertown's played their first run. Got one ball, one strike. Ball's grounded down the first baseline again, foul. Makes it one, two. Got a battle right here. Do have a runner at second. Scoring position for Perez. Pitch is going to be away. Two balls, two strikes, two outs with a runner at second. Ooh, Perez takes that one. Makes it 3-2. I don't know how you take that yeah, one. I don't from, either. That was from a good back pitch. here, it looked. Yeah, that was a good pitch. Going to ground that over to third base. Going to be foul. Having a good at bat right here. He's battling. Yeah. Three balls, two strikes. Jackson Bennett standing away on deck. Tib will come set here. Pitch is going to be down for ball four. Mm. 
bring up bring up Jackson Bennett. Looks like Coach Weathers is going to come out and have a conversation with Tibble. We'll take a little break, get us some commercials. It's just Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary care by One Stop Medical at its best. All right, we're back. No changes. A little conversation with Tibble. See if we can't get him dialed back in. Jackson Bennett's going to step in. Jackson's going to hit a line drive in the center field. That's going to get us another run for sure. Zach Staggs is coming. Perez is going to go to third. Good RBI single right there. Jackson's dancing around out there because there's nobody on first base. Makes the score five to two. Loretta still leads. Bring up Ryder Blackwood here with two outs. If we can't find a way to keep this lineup rolling. Two outs. We do got a runner first and third. Third baseman is back in the dirt. Now he comes in on the grass. Two will come set here. Ryder's going to hit one into that gap over that there. It's going to get spot. out. That left field spot. That a boy, Ryder. Fix to say, is, I, I almost said it. He's been backside and he's going to play another run for Summertown, make it five to three. That's where Ryder does his best work, so that backside stuff and the yes. way they're playing us. I mean, you'd think with a left-hander coming up, they may shift it back. Which but Moore almost got to that ball, he did. even even though he, he's shaded so far yeah, over. He's playing. He's playing right center field. He helped sure. helped helped everybody to just one bag. Yeah, gonna bring up Keegan McCafferty. First pitch called strike. There you go, Keegan. That's what you do to them. It's a good breaking pitch through by Tibble right there. It was. Pitch is going to be in a dirt away. Bennett don't try to move up. That's a good job right there. Mustangs catcher blocking that up, keeping it in front. Yes. One ball, one strike, two outs. Runners first and second. Pitch is going to be down the way for ball two. Yeah, he went. He did. That pitch was up and out, and Keegan just couldn't hold it. Make it 2-2. Two -two. Should have been 3-1. Dude will come set here. Delivers. Yeah, he went again. Keegan chases that one. But, uh, Summertown does play three runs. That's a good sign right there going into the top of the sixth inning. We can uh, hold the Mustangs here and see if we can't play a couple of more. Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. If you're stuck, then you're in luck. Call Tyler McDowell with in-service towing 24 hours a day, seven days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in-service offers full-service towing and recovery services as well as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family-owned, family-operated. When you need a hand, call in-service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit inservicespecialties.com. Tennessee Flight Training. We are training the next generation of pilots. Come and see why Tennessee Flight Training is the best way to learn to fly. 
Tennessee Flight Training. The skies are calling. All right, we're back here. Braden Keaton's going to be on the rubber for Summertown. Tragler center fielder will step in for Loretta. Takes ball away. Be Tragler. Jaden Aaron should be on deck. Can't really see if yeah. they're making any changes over or not. Be called strike down on that inside corner. Make the count. One ball, one strike. Braden threw that one behind him. Two balls, one strike, nobody out. Keaton delivers. Ball's going to be hit hard down the line. It is going to be a fire ball. He's going three. Going to hold him up at third. The triple down the right field line. Thought Coach Burson was coming out. Turn around, went back to the dugout. Did McCafferty go to right? Yes. yes. He had a long run. That thing was plumbing the corner down there. Coach Burson's going to come out. We're going to take a little break. We'll let you know what happens when we get back. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of the Summit and we would like to invite you and your family to come into our facility. We would love to see you here. Financial advisor Scott Beasley knows time spent with family is everything. As a founder of Beasley Wealth Management, his mission is to give clients the freedom to enjoy time with family without the burden of financial concerns. A local of Lawrenceburg, Scott deeply values building relationships with clients, ensuring they make informed decisions concerning asset management, tax planning, and retirement planning. Offering a free initial consultation, Beasley Wealth Management helps clients pursue their aspirations with confidence. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gaines Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through all of life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life, accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize plans for every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. All right, we're back. We do make a pitch and change. Ryder Blackwood's going to come to the mound. The infield's going to be in the grass. Jackson Bennett moves over to third. Matthew Luffman's going to come out and play second base for Summertown as Ryder goes to the mound. Jackson moved over to short. Short. What did I say? Third. Third? No, Jackson moved over to short. Kane's at third. Sorry. Jaden Aaron for Loretta. 
An off-speed pitch for a ball? Yes. Blowing in the dirt. Ryder delivers. The fastball away. Ball two. Ball down. Ryder just hadn't found his zone here yet. A fast ball for a strike. Three balls, one strike. Nobody out. Runner standing at third. Pitch is going to be hit into left field. Aiden Perez is going to go back, makes the play. Turns one loose towards the plate. It's going to be up the first baseline. They do get the RBI there. Good job by Jaden Aaron. Just hit it deep enough in the outfield to get that run in. Make your score. Loretta six, Summertown three. Bring up Riley Ellis. Blackwood delivers. We fouled back. Second pitch, going to be a breaking pitch off the plate. Makes it 1-1. Ball's going to be hammered in the left field for a base hit. Bring up the nine-hole hitter, Fisher, playing shortstop for Loretta Mustangs tonight. One out and a runner in Ellis at first base. Double play ball right here, Ryder. Pitches out in the dirt. Zach has to go get it. Good job there by Zach. Deliver it up for ball two. Makes it two balls, no strikes. It's not walking nine holes. Which is away. Bring the count to 3 0. Uh, the birds quit tweeting and I started yawning. Sorry, folks. It's going to be ball four. I'll Bring give up. them runners first and second, one out. The lead off, Mason Tidwell coming in. Catcher Zach Stagg is going to come out and have a talk with Ryder. Right, we got somebody jogging down to the Summertown bullpen. Yes, sir. He is. It's JB, Mr. Ryder comes set here. The breaking pitch left up. Fastball on the outside scoring. The strike even everything up. One ball, one strike, one out, two on. Fisher at first, Ellis at second. Florida Mustangs lead Summertown 6-3 to three here in the top of the sixth inning. We have a breaking pitch off the plate for a ball. Make it 2-1. Another breaking pitch. Runs away from him. 
Make it three balls, one strike. Fastball away. Ball four. Bring up Springer. We'll load the bases. With one out. He called ball. Ball's going to be fouled back over her head. Make the count. One ball, one strike. One out. Bases are loaded. Ryder Blackwood comes set and delivers. Down and in. Swung through and missed. Come set. One ball, two strikes. Bases loaded. Back pick down the first base. Back in there safe. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch is going to be hit a mile high here. I think Perez is coming. Does make the play. Runners can't yeah. tag. Ellis kind of fakes that one. He wasn't going nowhere on that one anyways. We'll give us two outs. Two outs, bases loaded here. We can get out of this and guys just giving up one run. We've had a pretty good inning. Yes, most definitely. We'll bring up the three hole hitter, Clint Seymour. That would come set here and deliver. Be a called strike on the outside corner on that breaking pitch. Ball's going to be in the dirt. Zach blocks it up, keeps it out front. Nobody moves. Make it one ball, one strike. <laughs> Zach's going to throw that one in the right field. Tried to back pick. Everybody's going to move up. Ball was about 10 foot, four inches high over Kane's head down there. Make your score seven to three, Loretta. Everybody moves up. So now Loretta does play another run. Has a runner standing at second and third. Called ball away. At three balls, one strike to see more. Pitch is going to be left out. Ball four. Load the bases back up. Bring up Carter Daniel. Daniel steps in. Ryder comes set here and delivers. Called strike on that outside corner. Swung through that one for strike two. It's a good breaking pitch right there by Ryder. It was. Probably the first one I've actually seen him get on top of and get a little snap on. It had a little movement to it. Looks at no balls, two strikes, two outs. Ryder delivers. The breaking pitch stays up. Yeah. 
going to be called strike three. That was just a fastball there on the outside corner. He takes it strike three. Uh, as Lord Rudder Mustangs do play two more here in the top of the six, Summertown will be coming in. See if they can't do something here in the bottom of the sixth. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality, shop convenience, shop service, shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today. For the best meal from south of the border, head to Cocina Real in Puente Grande for lunch and dinner. With a wide array of mouth-watering entrees, there's something for everyone on the menu. And you can't forget the cheese dip. They'll treat you like family, and you'll never leave hungry. Make Cocina Real Mexican Restaurant and Puente Grande Mexican Restaurant your choice for authentic cuisine. Located in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. All right, we're back. So they do make a pitching change. Is Thompson's going to come in? Tidwell goes over to third Th base. <laughs> Leading off for Summertown will be Matthew Luffman. Hitting in a nine hole tonight. Top for lineup will be on deck. Balls Matthews going to hit a line drive into right center field, which was right straight at, or left center field, was right straight at uh, Miles Moore out there for a leadoff single. Bring up Grayson Burleson with no outs and a runner at first. Ball's going to be grounded right down the third baseline. Hits, hits the, the bag, bag, pops up in the air. Stivell didn't have, couldn't do nothing with that. He was going to the line and hit the bag and just went over his head. Skane Kinnick hit one of them at Loretta last night. Yes. Grayson Bartison comes up with a hit here, put two on. Bring up Case and Blackwood. Runners first and second with no outs. They're still giving a lot of room down that left field line. They are. They ain't moving, are they? Daniel over here playing first. He's in on the grass. Like he may be expecting a bunt. It's 
Thompson comes set here. Delivers. That ball is going to be hit well into right field, but, I mean, it's it's right at him. Yeah, Grayson does get back, but I didn't think he was going to. I, Grayson left on that ball hard. It was hit right straight at the right fielder. Ball was hit well, just hit right straight at the right fielder. Bring up Kane Kinnick. We got runners first and second, one out. Zach, coach for Loretta's out. They are, umpires are going to get together here and talk about it. It's all arguing the call over at first. I didn't see a replay of it. It wasn't a good replay. The Mustangs fans are getting riled a little bit. Kane Kinnick's going to step in here. See Thompson for the first time. Thompson here delivers. Be down the way in the dirt. Ball one. Thompson comes out here and delivers. Going to be away in the dirt. They lose it. Runners are going to move up. Makes it two balls, no strike. Hitters count right here. We're runners in scoring position. Runners second and third. Change the hitter I taught him to be. He'll change his approach here a little bit. Of course, 2-0, -oh, you're cutting loose. Thompson comes set here. Pitch is going to be away for ball three. Good take. You know, that pitch right there is a lot easier to take 2 0 than it is 0 2. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be 3 0. Fastball down the middle. Kane was taking all the way. Yes, he was. She's going to be hammered into the 5-6 hole for a base hit. Grayson Bartison's going to score from second. Kane Kinnick has come up with two more RBIs here in this game to make the score 5-7. to seven. A hard hit baseball out through there. Very hard. Makes the score 7-5 to five with one out. Kane Kinnick at first. Bring up Zach Staggs hitting in the four hole for Summertown here today. We called strike down there on that outside corner. Ball's going to be fouled back in the net. They even never thing up. Nope, that's two strikes, sorry. Yep. No balls, two strikes. Pitch is delivered here. Zach's going to hit that in a mile high foul down the first baseline. No ball dog? Complete no show. We're, no, we're the only thing going on. You ain't even here? Not even here. Maybe sick. He might have got tired after that softball game and yeah. went home. He was here during our batting practice. Yes. No balls, two strikes, one out. Kane Kinnick at first base. Delivered into the dirt to Zach. He takes for a ball. One ball, two strikes, one out. Runner at first. Zach's going to drive that ball into right field for a base hit. Bring up Aiden Perez. 
Runners first and second, two outs. We'll bring up Aiden Perez. Aiden swung a hot bat tonight. Zach Staggs at first, Kane Kinnick at second with one out. Perez shows bunt, pulls back for a ball. Going to drive that ball into the right center field gap. It's going to get down. Ball's going to be off the wall. He's going to get at least a double. Zach Staggs is going to try to score from first base. He's coming. He's in there. That will tie the ball game up. Great job right there, Perez, with two RBIs. Hits a ball off the wall in right center field for a double for two more RBIs for Perez tonight. Talking about a kid with a hot bat. Yes, sir. He's been swinging it well the past few games. Coach Zach Curtis is going to come out and have a mound visit. We'll take a little break. Looks like they are going to make a pitching change. Figure out who it is, and we'll let y'all know. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Bulco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg has a legacy of being a family-owned and operated company. Since 1927, our business has grown and evolved into today's one-stop source for all your automotive supplies. But in that time, one thing has stayed the same, and that's our commitment to our customers and their needs. At Volco Auto Supply, you'll find everything for your car, truck, or even fleet of vehicles, but with good, old-fashioned customer service the way it needs to be. That's Volco Auto Supply, 416 Buffalo Road in Lawrenceburg. Visit VolcoAutosupply.com. LUS is committed to our customers, from providing and maintaining energy-efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. All right, we're back as they do make a pitching change. As Springer's going to come in, throwing from the left side. Scores tied, 7-7. Seven, seven. One out, runner at second. Jackson Bennett's going to step in. Holds up. Perez is going to move up to third. That ball is in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher. My iPad froze up, Will. <laughs> so no balls, one strike, runner now at third. Highest going to be called strike. I may have to argue that. Should we'll be make. one ball, one strike. It is now. Pitch is going to be up and away for a ball. Peach is going to be hit into center field. Perez is going to try to tag. 
He's leave. He's coming home. Throw is here. It's offline. Summertown will take the lead on that Jackson Bennett sack fly to center field as Perez comes in. Make it eight to seven. Here with two outs now. Ryder Blackwood's going to step back in. Ball's going to be up for ball one. Pitch is delivered here. Be called strike one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Ryder's going to hit that ball into left field. Miles Moore had a beat on it, makes the play. We'll be out, out number three. Summertown does plate five runs here in the bottom of the six, going after the top of the seventh, three out. Summertown may come away with this victory. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf and this is Hustler Country. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds. Let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. All right, we're back. No changes. Ryder, Ryder Blackwood stays on the mound. Don't see no defensive changes for Summertown. Miles Moore's going to step in for the Loretta Mustangs. Takes first pitch strike. Ryder comes set here, delivers. Be a ball outside. Ryder delivers this pitch. Gonna be inside. In the dirt. Make it 2 1. Two balls, one strike. Nobody out. Miles Moore to plate. Ryder Blackwood comes set. Delivers. Ball's gonna be hit in the center field. Casey Blackwood's gonna come across. Makes the first out. Bring up Jackson Traglia with one out, nobody on. Ryder delivers up and away for ball one. Swung through that one for strike one. One ball, one strike, one out. Pitch is going to be up and away for ball two. Make it two one. Pitch is going to be out, ball three. Ryder comes set here, delivers a three one. The ball out. It's 
Summertown crowd getting on the umpire a little bit now. I'll bring up Jaden Aaron, runner at first, one out. And on the replay, looked like it may have been just a little up, a little out. Pick over to first, he's back safe. Jaden Aaron swings through that one. Strike one. Pitch is going to be lifted into center field. Jason Blackwood's coming on strong. Does make the play. Hatless. Will be two outs. So calling him the hatless center fielder. If he's got to make more than three steps, his hat's, his come, hat's off. come off. Don't bring up Ellis. Runner did, first, two outs. They did put a runner in over, I think. It's that breaking pitch in there for a strike. Ellis did hit a uh, line drive hit into left field, his last plate appearance. Blackwood comes set here, delivers, runner is gone. He's in there. He's in there. Summertown fans are hollering. I think I think he gets in there. I think we tag him on the hip. Yeah, yeah he there. was there. Yeah, he's there. Runner one ball, time, one strike. Time run outs. does move up to second base. Ball's up, ball two. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Runner standing at second now. Whitewood comes set here, delivers. It's going to be up and away. Whitewood comes set, delivers the 3 1. We a strike on the outside corner. Make it 3 2. Full count, two outs, runner at second. Peach is going to be popped up down the first baseline. Grayson Bartleson's going over. Looks like he's got room, makes the play. Be the third out of the inning. Summertown will come back from trailing this game. Seven to three to win, eight to seven. Split yeah. victory for Summertown. Split with Loretta in this, so. That means the summertime will uh, have to go play Lewis County. And uh, if we can some way or another pull another night at Lewis County, it will be a coin flip to see where the district tournament will be played here or at Loretta, uh, depending on how that Lewis County game turns out. If we can get a victory there, they don't go by runs allowed or runs scored no more. It's, It'll be here. No, it will be a coin flip, the district no, tournament. I mean, I mean, Lewis County game is here. Yeah, the Lewis County will be here on the 22nd, right? Mm -hmm. That's when it's supposed so to be. That'll be the determining factor of uh, uh, first and second in the district. Summertime pulled this one out. I would like to say I think uh, Will Pettis gets a little frustrated sometimes. Backs out on us a little bit. Hung in there tonight, though, didn't you, Will? Yeah. Huh? Hung in there with us. Never huh. doubt. Hey, never a doubt, got this victory. Uh, it's huge for Summertown, guys. Uh, big win, for sure. Big win, some big some big hits. Perez swinging that bat tonight. Uh, Kane Kinnick, I think he's three, three for three, three for four. I don't know what he was. I think Perez was three for four tonight. Both of them with some huge RBIs in this game uh, to get us back in it at times. Uh, Grayson Bartleson and some of his base running stuff to score that first run. Yes. You know, that was huge, you know, just to get us on the board. Oh, you know, you can kind of see that we're down and out. Grayson still second, ends up at third. You know, uh, deep fly ball scores him. We end up scoring two more runs that same inning. I mean, it's just kind of firing the thing, guys. Uh, would like to say I seen the report a while ago. Uh, Loretta Navy native Ryan Weathers went five innings tonight, 90 pitches with 10 Ks, no hit, no runs. Please, what I seen. I don't know about the runs. But. I ain't sure about the runs. I ain't going to say it about the run, but he did. He did go five innings with 10 Ks tonight. So, uh, hey, good 
Good for Ryan it's getting on top over there. I know he threw against New York five innings the other night. Had a really good outing against them. Now he's got another five inning outing tonight. Glad to see him getting back on top down there. Oh, well. This is not when they play the Braves. Yeah, yeah, this is not when they play the Braves. You know, Ryan can't throw well when they play the Braves. Uh, I'm a Braves fan. But uh, when do we play again? We play was, Thursday? It was two runs, by the way. Give up two runs? Yeah, yeah. Thursday, Forest here. Play Forest here Thursday. Friday, Friday, we travel to Cannon County. Yes, Friday will be a long trip for Will to get I everything. Think they're going to Milan so. on Thursday, possibly. I think Loretta does go to Milan yes. on Thursday. I believe you. I believe you are correct. There was somebody asking that question asking down about there the other night. Yes, yeah, they, yeah, the, down there. They will travel to Milan, but uh, for our Timmy Kinnick, Mr. Joe Cowton, the guy that makes it all happen, Mr. Will Pettis, a big victory for Summertown Eagles baseball tonight. Glad to see the runs coming live, and our bats did too. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Going the distance with local sports.